Joey Munt rolls a ground ball double play in the Beavers. Erase the memories of back-to-back -back losses at USC with a 14-0 win in the opener of a two-game series against Gonzaga. Along with Bill Rao, I'm Rich Burke. The Beavers got good pitching all the way around. Eric Segura started it off. And he had five shutout innings, three hits, no walks, and six Ks. He looked great. That first time through the lineup, he was really tough. Just looked loose, getting a lot of swings and misses. Had some help from some shadows early on, but just really dominant. Yes, he was. And Segura with the six strikeouts. Freshman appears to be unflappable. Great game for Elijah Hainline and started off with his fantastic defensive play. He did it defensively and offensively. This place is an awesome job. Just running on this ball, you know you're going to have to get it bare and get rid of it really quickly. Outstanding execution. Well, then Hainline came up in the sixth inning and drove one to right. Pass Benson Tennis very scoring two. Oppo doubles. So in right now. That was part of fourth and second of extra base hits for the Beavers. And right after that, Heist Peterson came to the plate and drove it out. His third home run of the season. Big man, no step, just no stride, still tons of power. That ball went so high. Just a moonshot. Mm -hmm. Five foot ten, very strong. Speaking of strength, how about Travis Bazzana hitting his Team leading 16th home run of the season. Tops of the Pac-12. He is something else. It's just pretty crazy. Walks four times. He's like, I'm not going to hit a home run tonight. Uh, April Fool's 450 dead center. And that extended his hitting streak to nine consecutive games. Beavers 14 to nothing winners. How about Eric Segura? Is now 5-0 and on the season. The true freshman. And a good win all the way around. And that's what the Beavers are looking to do after their two tough losses at USC. Just bounce back, get some confidence going into this week. They're going to still have a little chip on their shoulder tomorrow. I'm sure they're still a little sore after this weekend, so they'll be coming out ready to play again. They are now 12-0 at home this year, and they've won 15 straight in their home yard going back to last May. Game two coming up on Tuesday at 6 o'clock.